skeletal muscles enable people to move. Playing the piano, running, and chewing are all activities made possible by skeletal muscles. The muscles in the arm and thigh are among the largest and strongest skeletal muscles in the body. The arm and thigh muscles are some of the many muscles that work in pairs. In each case, one muscle of the pair contracts to bend the joint, the elbow or the knee, in the lower part of each limb. The opposite muscle relaxes. To straighten the joint, the paired muscle contracts. The quadriceps femoris on the front of the thigh works with the biceps femoris, or hamstring, in back of the thigh. To bend the knee and raise the leg, the hamstring contracts and the quadriceps relaxes. To straighten the knee and lower the leg, the quadriceps contracts and the hamstring relaxes. The biceps muscle on the front of the arm works with the triceps muscle on the back of the arm in a similar fashion. When the biceps contracts, the elbow bends and the forearm lifts. The triceps relaxes at the same time. To straighten the elbow and lower the forearm, the triceps contracts and the biceps relaxes. As muscles contract, they get shorter and thicker. Contraction is the result of a complicated series of events inside muscle cells. Muscles are composed of long, thin cells called muscle fibers. Inside the muscle fibers, there are bands of thick and thin filaments that overlap each other. The thick filaments are a protein called myosin. The thin filaments are a protein called actin. Under a microscope, the areas of overlap appear as bands called striations. When a muscle is relaxed, the thin actin filaments only overlap the ends of the thick myosin filaments a short distance. When you want to move your arm or leg, your nerves send a signal to the muscles that need to contract. The nerve signal causes numerous small projections called myosin cross bridges or heads to project from the thick filaments. The cross bridges attach to the thin actin filaments and slide them over the myosin filaments, pulling them closer together. The degree of overlap between the actin and myosin filaments becomes much greater as the muscle contracts. This is what makes the muscle become shorter and thicker.